split there very clearly. It was already in the card, but here it comes very explicitly. And you know, we're so generous because when we read, we read the card, we look and we say, I think therefore I am, no, that's me. <laughs> that's, oh, that's nobody in this room, I think. Oh, this, the transcendental subject of Kant. Oh, I'm the transcendental subject. No, nobody here is transcendental subject. For them, we read them with generosity. When these people have no generosity, these people are really thinking about very narrow number of people when they were thinking about these things. And the rest of humanity have no access to rationality or anything like that. But we still read them like, oh, I'm the transcendental subject. No, you're not the transcendental subject for Kant, okay? And this is like a taboo to say this in a philosophy department, okay? To say these things. And now the question is, now the Kantian Humboldtian University was founded on Kantian and Humboldt epistemology that is based on the four genus epistemology of the long 16th century. And of course, in this anthropological writing, he never mentioned women because for him, all women, including women of the five countries, have no access to rationality. That's why he said the yellow man, the black man, he never mentioned women. Women are out of the conversation for Kant, okay? Even the European women. So here you have now the Humboldtian Kantian University in Humboldt University in Berlin, late 18th century. That is the Westernized University founded on this epistemic racism, sexism that I've been describing to you, right? And now the question is, why is it that in the 21st century, we're still carrying on structures of knowledge that are so racist and sexist? Why is, is this going on? For a simple reason, because structures of knowledge are entangled with structures of power. So we went from 16th century, Christianize or I kill you. So my knowledge is superior to you, I know if my knowledge is superior to you, I know what is truth, what is reality, and what is best for you. So it doesn't matter what you say is best for you. Whatever you say is inferior to me. So I have the legitimation to impose on you what is good for you. So look at the entanglement with structure of knowledge, structure of power. Right? And now they come, Christianize or I kill you, 16th century. Millions of people killed in the name of Christianize or I kill you. And so if you say, no, no, I don't want to be Christianized, well, I, I will have to save your so from your barbarianism, I have to kill you, I will kill you, right? Because I know what is best for you. You see what I mean? Superiority of knowledge. 19th century, civilized or I kill you. Millions, millions of indigenous people in the world killed under the slogan of civilized or I kill you, right? You are an obstacle to progress. You are an obstacle to civilization. If you don't assimilate to Western forms, then we will have to wipe you out for this for the sake of civilization and progress, right? Millions of indigenous people, 19th century, wipe out. 20th century, develop or I kill you. You don't know, you are underdeveloped, even though you're on the development, it's due to these 500 years of disaster they have created in your country, right? But now you are, there's something wrong with you, you're underdeveloped, you're poor, you don't know how to live life, we're going to help you develop, right? And now, if you resist, because for them, development is that you have to give up all your wealth, all your raw material, provide cheap labor, uh, uh, provide tax-free incentive for transnational corporation to uh, plunder your country, and you say no, then here it comes, well, we have to do something for saving you from underdevelopment. And here comes the CIA organized coup d'etat all over the world, putting military developmental dictatorship all over the world, right? Killing millions of people. Just in Indonesia in 1965, the first month of the coup d'etat, they killed one million people. Just the first month. Just to give you an idea. And they did this in Latin America, in Africa, Asia, all over the place. CIA organized coup d'etat with the collaboration of Western European intelligence agencies, you know, and destroying democracies all over the place, okay, and putting these dictators. Then, early 21st century, you are authoritarian. Even though the authoritarians in your country is due to the coup d'etat they put there and the military CIA coup d'etat, now they say you have an authoritarian culture. So now it's democratized or I kill you. And here they come to teach you democracy with Air Force airplanes bombing your country, killing millions of people, 
you know, and I'm teaching you democracy. This is early 21st century. Millions of people killed in the name of democratize or I kill you. So this is why the structures of knowledge that we have, so provincial, disguised as universal, so racist and so sexist are still alive because this is entangled with the structures of power. So imperialist, colonial, capitalist, global projects of domination exploitation are produced through also epistemic structure that are entangled with them to either produce or justify what they're doing. Anyway, thank you. Thank you.